What's up? See some familiar names as well. So, wow. Gonna be making some devil's music, basically. No need to be nervous. You have no idea, man. It's like we played in Summer Breeze in 2019. That was nothing <laughs> compared to this. This makes me poop my pants. We're gonna make a metal cover of the song uh, Bash the Dragon, which is a really cool tavern song. So we're gonna have some giveaways also. We got some community chess keys to give away. It's usually what I first do on this, I guess, is a lot of different from other music people I know. I always start making the drums, man. So I always start making the drums for the song. So <laughs> at first I'm just kind of just imagining how the guitars will be. It's just in my head and I just make the drums and I air drum like an idiot. So now uh, usually what I, this is when I start with the drums, so we'll just start with that. So in this case, I mean, the song kind of makes itself. Let me go into the drum editor add some stuff. So I, I never use any pre-made drums or anything. I just kind of just program them by hand. It usually, you know, goes pretty fast. So I try to like envision like how will the beat be? So okay, on this song, since it has this tavern vibe, it would be cool to kind of have, you know, a little bit like that live kind of feel to it. So a, a hi-hat count up, you know, it's pretty cool. And what I do when I make covers, I like to try to keep it in tone with the original. I mean, sometimes I, I do change it quite a bit, but in this case, I can kind of just play along with how it is originally, really. So I'll just start, like, plotting out the ideas, basically. They use the drums pretty musically. I know a lot of people I know also, they kind of use drums as, like, uh, a bag of tricks. Like, I want to use this now. But I always just listen to the music, like, for example, the kick drum pattern. I was, like, it's pretty easy on this one you have. So we just kind of play along. It's going to start with... Yeah, exactly like that. All right, so okay, let's just play through this, see what we come up with on the riff side of things. Woo! I think that's kind of made itself, really. <laughs> For those uninitiated in the recording process, like usually when you record guitars, you record two of them, you pan one to the left and one to the right, to get that thick sound. So I usually like to do this in parts, mostly because like everything becomes like a big puzzle. Let's do one of that community chess giveaway. So I'll leave that open for a few minutes and then uh, whoever, you know, need to write hashtag community chest, then you'll be eligible for, uh, for a little reward there. Let me see that chat get filled up, man. Let's just jam a little community chat song. Come on. More community chats. So this is officially the community chat song. So it, uh, maybe what you can do just to hype this up even more. Like, let's just like increase the tempo on this song. I'm gonna close the giveaway in 10 seconds. I'm gonna draw the winner. Chaos Loot. Congratulations, my friend. FYI, if you want to follow me on my Twitch as well, on Scar Productions, I mostly do games on Twitch. That is because I need reasons in my life to spend more time on games as well. Do you prefer me to play at Green Day, like this? Or basically a drunk, happy machine head? You get to decide today. Yeah, the Green Day really worked. You know, I was just thinking about the other day, man. Like if I told myself in 2013, it was not happy in 2013 <laughs> whatsoever. There was no chance in hell I would live off music and everything, well, you know, didn't really look that bright for me there. Almost 10 years later, I'm streaming to the official Guild Wars 2 channel. Freaking nuts, actually. So I'm just gonna program the bass for this. Chuggy chug train on the bass here. No, 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 no. I mean, like a little bass feel there. You know, it's so funny hearing Bash the Dragon because Bash is poo in Norwegian. Now we got a pretty good impression exactly how, how like the sound will be, but just imagine big orchestra synth and cool shit slapped on top of that, you know? All right, you guys, uh, you want you want the community chest? I'm gonna give it to you. There we go, now we can write it. Write the community chest, everybody, write it. Come on. And we are gonna speed this song up for the community chest. More community chest, more, more, more. <laughs> That was enough. <laughs> this seems very slow now. <laughs> now that we played it that fast. Now this feels too slow. Rosius, my friend, you want the key. I am gonna send you that key right now, my friend. By the way, join my Discord if you like. 
do that. Let's, let's just do that. It goes to the D chord. The D chord, everybody. I might be a lizard. I was in Portugal once, and uh, I remember it very vividly. Uh, it was me and the Trollfest guys, which I was touring with at the time, and then uh, the sound guy, which is someone you might know. There was uh, uh, Wilska from, you know, the guy who did like the, the growl vocals on Pharaoh sales to Orion with Nightwitch and stuff. And me and him and some others, we went down, we tried to find like a breakfast place, but like everything was like closed. So we were just like, we went to a freaking restaurant <laughs> and I basically ordered a steak dinner with fries and beer <laughs> for breakfast. If that's not a breakfast of champions, I do not know what is, man. Okay, so let's see how this sounds. So usually I would actually, when I, if I'm going to record this, I'd probably record this on another guitar, just because it would be more comfy. I'm going to be stuck in my brain for a week now. That's that's the, that's the idea, man. Okay, so we're going to try to move on, because now I'm spending a little bit more, too much time on this. What's the point of recording it twice? Very good question, Mobile Lord. The reason you record it twice is because when you're mixing music, you have a stereo left and right. And if you stack a bunch of stuff on top of each other in the middle, it will not sound cool. First of all, it will it will take up a lot of space in the musical image. And uh, not to mention, it doesn't sound as cool. So if you take these two guitar tracks and I put them right in the center. That sounds insanely dull. So the reason we record one more is to get, first of all, you get two guitar players playing slightly differently, and this creates a fat sound because you get like more, more stuff, more movement. And then you pan those out to the sides, and what you get in return is just like this insanely big guitar tone that kind of just pops out at you. And it leaves room for everything in the middle, like the bass and kick and snare. So it sounds like this. And there's a lot of people who record four tracks as well on top of each other. This is called layering, like simple terms is layering. And you do this with a lot of stuff, like especially with vocals, you layer vocals upon vocals upon vocals to get this fatter sound. Now I'm just going to go back to making the drums for the next part. So it's going to be like this. this. <laughs> oompa oompa. I mean, we, we could make blast beats. Oh man. So yeah, I think we're gonna have it more like oompa oompa. Maybe we can do like a... Uh... Oh! Oh, we got it. Now we got the drunk, drunk happy machine head. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I like it. Oh yeah. I mean, you know when you said the gallop thing, I was just thinking about something. We could also make it like... Like actually make like a real horse gallop kind of feel to it. But then we would have to change the drum beat to something else. So it's gonna be like this. <laughs> that is hilarious. God. Oh man, that's almost too much. You now one of the funny raptor skins, and then you ride on like <laughs> We need to have this. Like it's, it's no no other. Like this is the way. This is the way. Go go go! Come here, the chest. God damn it! Okay, we keep it going. Bum -bitty -bum -bitty. Drawing the winner, Ostra S. Grats on your community chest. Is there any better mount in any game than the Raptor? Like I've been saying this since I tried the Raptor. This you know, when Path of Fire came out. There's literally no other mount in any video game that I know of personally that is as good as the Raptor in Guild Wars 2. And I'm not saying that to kiss anyone's ass here, but it's really it's like it is just so satisfying. Like the animation, the jumping, you know, the dismount attack. <laughs> A Guild Wars 2 came in like in a, in a little weird part of my life and it kind of like what I went through at that time kind of stained, you know, a little bit of my relationship with the game. Not that I didn't like it, it has nothing to do with the game, but it's kind of like, you know, when you eat a piece of food uh, and you get sick from it and then you kind of just can't even think about playing it. It's kind of kind of like that in a sense, but I always came back, played it. I never deleted it from my computer, always came back, played a little bit, a little bit. And uh, when I came back like a few months ago, that's kind of like when I went, you know, hundreds of hours <laughs> in short periods of time. It's one of my favorite games. I mean, MMOs. So it's, it's just a pre-production at the moment. Oh, there, Balthasar. Well, actually, screw that, dude. Actually, let's try to add that. Uh... 
I mean, like what, what you have here is basically like when I get to this point in the song where I just feel everything that I made, I'm, I'm happy with kind of the drum beats, the riffing, everything though is, is subject to change. Like there's always, always something that I will come up with later when I'm recording, especially when I'm recording. That's kind of when my mode goes on. Then we add like double pedal going like on the second time. So then it will be like this. That's how it should be. You know, now the real question remains though, the community chest. Go! Spam a community chest! You know what we should do? We have to do this. We have to increase the tempo of the song for each verse. So then the next verse hits, we just we just go 10 BPM up. And then for the next next one, we go even higher. It's gonna be fun to see who wins now. Vent Dame. Congratulations on your chest. I will send the code to you right now. You know, it was real fun, guys. Thanks to everyone who hang out. That is really, really cool. And making me feel so, so welcome. I feel like I should say something inspirational. Ride the raptor like you would bash the dragon. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care, everyone. <laughs>